Hi, I'm Adam Sills, Marketing Product Specialist for Massey Ferguson Tractors. The 8S marks a new era for Massey Ferguson. It is the most ambitious redesign of a tractor in Massey Ferguson's modern history. Building off a proven powertrain, the 8S embodies hours of interviews and design with real farmers. That's right, everything new about this tractor came from feedback we received from you, the one who's going to be operating this tractor. The 8S comes in six sizes, starting out at 205, moving on up to 225, 245, 265, 285, and 305 maximum engine horsepower. All models are powered by a proven 7.4 liter Agco power engine that's used in other agricultural and industrial applications around the world. Pair that engine with our exclusive Dyna VT transmission, which has been setting the standard for CVTs for the last 20 years. One of the defining features of the 8S that I'm sure you've noticed by now is a large gap between the cab and the hood. We call this the Protect U. By design, this 9.4 inch gap helps separate the operator from the engine, the main source of noise, heat, and vibration. This separation makes for a better, more enjoyable driving experience for you, the operator. Hence the name, Protect U. Another benefit of the Protect U is engine air quality. Traditionally, both cooling and intake air are brought in from the front of the tractor. As the cooling fan draws in large amounts of air, it brings in with it dirt and chaff floating out in the field. Not ideal for engine intake air. The Protect U design pulls in intake air from the rear of the engine, where air is cooler and cleaner. This simple rearrangement helps the engine run cooler and cleaner, improving performance and longevity. We've listened to your feedback on how important visibility is. That's why we've put our all-in-one emissions technology below the belt line of the tractor with a slim exhaust stack that does not obstruct your view. While we're talking about visibility, the 8S can have up to 16 halogen or LED work lights. Here you can see the improved brightness and spread of LEDs. The 8S comes with a closed center load sensing hydraulic pump with a flow rate of 54 gallons per minute. There is an eco option which achieves that 54 gallons per minute at a reduced engine speed of 1650 versus 1950. This helps you save fuel when running planters or seeders where your main consumer is a hydraulic fan or a vacuum pump. You no longer have to run wide open to achieve that higher flow rate. Both pumps can have up to five rear remotes with spring-loaded flaps, decompression levers for assisting and hooking up pressurized lines, power beyond, and free return. Unlike our competitors, the ADAS has a separate implement and transmission hydraulic reservoir. This means contaminants from the implement system will not enter the transmission. The Category 3 rear hitch can be configured in several different ways. You can have fixed or telescopic ball ends with sway blocks or hook ends with stabilizers. Of course, a quick hitch is still available, but hook ends will allow you to keep the implement closer to the tractor, improving lift performance. We also have a hydraulic top link available that is controlled with one rear remote. Rear fender controls include up and down for the rear three point, in and out for a rear valve, and start stop for the rear PTO. The in and out buttons can be assigned to any one of the five rear valves. To activate the rear hitch, you'll need to press up, down, and hold. Do the same for the rear valve. Press out, in, and hold. To activate the PTO, press and hold for five seconds. There are also three types of drawbars available for the 8S. A Category 3, a Category 3 HD with an extra support, or a beefier Category 4 for those heavier and larger implements. The power takeoff on the 8S can come in 540E, 1000, or 1000, 1000E. It has a flange PTO shaft, so switching between splines is straightforward and easy. With front-mounted implements becoming more and more popular in North America, the 8S can be equipped with a Category 3 front hitch. It's available with or without a front PTO, two hydraulic remotes, and a free return. It also has the same external controls as the rear hitch. Another benefit of the front hitch is a monoblock weight. Compared to difficult and time-consuming ballast changes with suitcase weights, monoblocks can be effortlessly picked up and removed.
All 8S Dyna VT models come standard with front axle suspension, providing five and a half inches of travel. This drastically improves ride quality when running over previously worked ground or pulling high speed tillage tools. Now let me show you the new cab. One of the first things you'll think when stepping inside this cab is wow, this cab is huge. And that's one of the things we heard from you when redesigning this tractor was your need for space in the cab. You don't want to feel crammed into a tiny airplane seat. You want to be able to have space to move around, grab controls, look behind you when you're operating. And that's exactly what we've done. You've got 121 cubic feet of volume and 71 square feet of glass all around you. This cab is so big it can actually fit some competitors' cabs inside of it. This cab isn't just about space though. It's also about visibility. You'll be using this tractor for planting, side dressing, mowing, and baling hay and you want to see all around you to avoid running over crop. You have easy sight lines to the front tires, over the outer duals, and to the rear hitch so you always know where you're at. We listened to your feedback and made significant improvements to the seat. The major one being it now pivots 45 degrees to the right and stays unlocked so you can go back and forth all day long. Another cool improvement is we now have a pivoting backrest so when you turn around to look at the implement the seat doesn't hit your shoulder, putting strain on your neck. And when you're done, just push it back again. The new seat also has a two levels of heating and cooling, so you're always at the right temperature. We also improved the instructor seat. On the back side is a clipboard, and underneath is a cool box, keeping your drinks and snacks chilled. Now let's go over some controls, starting with the steering column. On the left-hand side is the power control lever. It features a park lock and shuttle between forward and reverse. It can also be used to shift up or down. Above that are self-canceling turn signals and your brights. On the right you have your wiper controls, horn, and navigation buttons for the V-Display. Next we'll move on to the armrest. First up is the multi-pad. All 8S tractors will have this as the main transmission control. The multi-pad is ergonomically designed so that any button can be reached by just your thumb. At the top you have your ranges for your Dyna VT. One is for field work, two is for transport. Make sure you come to a complete stop before shifting. Below that is a squirrel wheel used to adjust your max speed and cruise speeds. Next is raise and lower for your rear hitch, cruise one, engine speed memory and cruise two and a micro joystick used to control two freely assignable hydraulic valves. In the middle you have your MF guide activation, F1 and F2 freely assignable headland management buttons, and forward and reverse shuttle. Movement of the multipad will control your speed. If you keep pressing the multipad forward past the detent, it will automatically increase up to the max speed. At the base of the multipad is a minimum engine speed button, hand throttle, and auto drive activation. Auto drive allows you to control speed of the tractor using the foot pedal. Tractors with the front hitch or front loader will have an additional multifunction joystick. Its controls include an F3 freely assignable button, control for a live third valve, and a fourth function button. Moving down the armrest, we have a lockout for the multifunction joystick, four wheel drive, diff lock, and audio controls. Over here, we have our fingertip controls for our other three remote valves and position control for the rear hitch. On the right, we have our beacon lights, presets one and two for work lights and climate controls. To the right of that are two switches for your front and rear PTO and an auto PTO button. The auto PTO button will allow your rear PTO to activate at a specified rear hitch height. On the right hand console, we have additional controls for brake to neutral, hydraulic lockout, ISO bus, two USB charging ports, a 12 volt outlet, and additional controls for your rear hitch when you're turned around looking backwards. Behind the seat is an auxiliary power outlet. This switch will allow you to control the outlets on and off status using the headland management. In the cab of the 8S, there are two main screens. The first is the V display, which is on the front right pillar. This showcases information like fluid levels, temperature, engine speed, ground speed, transmission statuses, and a productivity counter. The second screen is a Datatronic 5. 
The Datatronic 5 houses all tractor settings for engine, transmission, hydraulics, guidance, and is ISOBUS ready. If you need even more screen space, a FieldStar 5 can be added as an extended monitor. For more information on how to change settings, make sure you watch our other videos. The ADES would not be complete without precision farming technology. MF Guide Auto Guidance, MF Connect Telemetry, MF Section and Rate Control, and MF Task Stock Data Management can all be selected, giving you improved productivity and profitability through higher yields and lower input costs. For more information on the straightforward and dependable Massey Ferguson ADAS, contact your local dealer or visit us at MasseyFerguson.com.